Welcome to The Daily Dish with New York Times bestselling author, Leanne Ely. Putting vibrancy back into your everyday life and feeding your heart, mind, body, and soul. Join us every day at 1 p.m. Eastern for Motivational Monday, Tuesday's Tip, Wise Woman's Wednesday, Thirsty Thursday, Food Fight Friday, and of course, Q&A, where no question is off limits, and Soulful Saturday. Here is your host, Leanne Ely and The Daily Dish. I love it. Nancy says she's ready for the magic. Are you ready for the magic? It's Monday. And Monday, well, that's how we begin our week. And that's how we begin everything that's going to be great and fun, wonderful and thematic. Our theme this week is talking about measuring. I had kind of an aha moment when I was thinking about, uh, you know, I've been going, I've been holding my own on the scale, which, yeah, I still use the scale, even though I tell you to dump the scale. And it's been up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down. And I know why. It's because I have not been consistent. I have not been measuring. Mm -hmm. Measuring is an important thing. So I just want to welcome everyone to the show today. I just said hello to our Nancy. Now there's Catherine and Jocelyn, Jackie, Lily. Hello. There's Deborah. Hello. Helen, Martha, Juanita's here. So's Yvonne, Joanne, Lynn. Good grief. Look at everybody. Susan's here. Jama Flynn. There's Yvonne. Suzanne. Tanya's even here. Hello, Maria. I'm so glad you're all here because Monday is a great day to start something. Don't you agree? Even if it is better to begin in the evening than not at all. So listen, what I'm talking about, I'm saying, let's get on the, let's get on board and let's do this. But I'm going to tell you right now, you're not going to be perfect about this, okay? Can we can we agree? Can we pinkies up on that one? That perfect is not an option. Right, Kimberly? Right, Jennifer? You know it. We don't do perfect. We don't do it at all. And when we try to do perfect, we find ourselves in absolute frustration. Am I right? Frustration is no good. It's no fun. Where did my other thingy go? I think I lost my other dealio. So we have a bunch of stuff going on. Tonight, we're doing our Get Strong webinar. Are you going to come to that? You know what? The, the end of the year is here. It really is. And a lot for a lot of people, the holidays begin when we get those snack-sized Halloween candies in our house. Big mistake. Always choose something you hate, by the way. Always. Never go for the Kit Kats. Ever. I can tell you why. I can tell you why. So let's, you know, we, we don't want to fall down the tubes is the thing. Hi, Jerry. Um, we don't want to fall down the tubes. There's my girl, Jocelyn. I'm glad to see you, Jocelyn. Jema. We don't want to fall down the tube. We know what happens when that happens. We know what that means come January, come the last weekend of December. We start having regrets. Life's too short for regret. And so this whole thing to me has been, you know, I really need to get back on top of this whole measuring thing. Now, let me say this. I do not believe that the world begins and ends with measurements. I don't believe that measuring all the time is a sustainable thing. I don't think this is how we should live. However, I do believe this is a good starting area and a good reset because sometimes we're way off in our measurements. So sometimes we don't have it all together. And I'm going to tell you right now that measuring gives us that starting place. So if you're ready, I'm going to get in, uh, into all of that. Okay. So make sure you're coming tonight. That's tonight, savingdinner.com forward slash strong, because getting strong is one of the number one ways that you can move the needle on your metabolism. Talk about a measurement. That's huge. Getting strong. I show you exactly how to do it in the, the guide that you will get for free you will see photographs of me doing all of these different exercises. And you're also going to see a very imperfect body, but one that's strong and I'm proud of. So there, there it is right there. And I'm going to tell you what, when you do this, you're going to feel a difference. So it is imperative that you're there. Savingdinner.com forward slash strong. Hope to see you there. That's number one. Number two is... Uh, Q&A is always on Friday. Send your questions in. Send them to support at savingdinner.com. 
um, question for Leanne on Friday goes right there in the subject line. And I'm going to tell you what, we had some really good questions last time. Did we have some or what? That was pretty great. Uh, you will find me on TikTok. You will find me on Instagram. Now it's everything, you know, tiktok.com slash uh, saving dinner, uh, instagram.com slash saving dinner. How about that? We're there. We're everywhere. So make sure that you're liking, remarking and all of that other stuff on our stuff. Um, because it makes a difference for the algorithm. If you're into that stuff, we are speaking of measuring, we're into that. We're checking it out. We want to make sure that we're making an impact. Otherwise, what's the point? Who's got their, um, their books? I don't have mine here, but you know what? The, the new books are out y'all. The new books are out. Go to savingdinner.com forward slash crazy to get your get off the carousel of crazy book and the workbook that goes with it. This is a needle moving book because it makes you understand, helps you to understand that this is diet of culture. That's what we're trying to check out of. It's nuts. We don't need that. Hi, Carol. I'm glad you're here. So I um, wanted to tell you all about that. Also, we're giving away um, ebooks, a big ebook bundle of crock cooker books for free. It's a $37 value. Every time you order, guess what happens? We send them to you. $37 value. Who's ready for the supplement of the week? Pinky's up. If you're excited about the supplement of the week, you should be. Joanne, are you ready? Joanne's my girl. It's beauty support, y'all. I'm telling you. I know you're going to storm the, great, the gates. But listen, here's the deal. Buy three, you're going to get a fourth one for free. Beauty support is everything you think it is. It helps you to create your own collagen. And ladies over the age of 35, hello, we need the help. I don't know about you, but I certainly do. You can find out all about beauty support. This is our own formula. Nobody else has this. Savingdinner.com forward slash show. That's where you go to go get your, uh, your supplement of the week. And I'll tell you what, we will have a run on it. We're ordering extra. So get yours today, savingdinner.com forward slash show. Carla, you're never late. You're on time. Thank you so much for showing up. <laughs> all right. So I think I said everything. Didn't I say all the things? Yes, it's the best supplement. Joanne takes her. She, she's just like me. She takes two in the morning, two in the evening. I'm telling you, she's just as loony about the collagen as I am. And every night, I swear to you, this is the truth. I always think about Joanne when I'm pulling out. My beauty support, I always think, oh, Joanne's taking hers too. <laughs> I do. We're connected that way, Joanne. Um, this is what the new label looks like, by the way. Isn't it so beautiful? The full bloom. So this is the old one, which this is, you know, this is what we're going through right now. But the new, this, this new one's going to be coming. I'm so glad you're here, Susan. Jama takes two a day. I mean, she's right on too, right? You got to do it. We're all about that collagen. I had my, um, I have a housekeeper now, you guys, I had this uh, lady come and just, I couldn't keep up with everything. And, and you know what I said, I, I need to spend some time on, on all this business stuff that we're working, speaking of measuring that we're working on. And I had the lady who does next door <clears throat> come over and just take care of some things. She said, how old are you? <laughs> she thought I was 48. So I of course gave her the college and lecture. It gave her some take home. <laughs> I will tell you what, Nancy, you are going to get a ton. The time blocker sheet is right there. There it is. Savingdinner.com forward slash time. You guys take notes today because this whole week is going to blow your brains out. That sounds terrible. It's going to blow the top right off your head. That sounds terrible. You know what I'm talking about. Hi, Mary. This is the whole thing though. You know what I'm saying about this? We're going to get into the weeds about the things that hold us back. Look at what Susan just said. Beauty support makes a huge difference. Be sure to take a picture of your face and watch it change. Two a day. Yes, it is worth the money. It does. I've shown you pictures of it in our collagen challenge. I should pull those pictures out. Jenny put them together showing 2013, 2018, and 2020. And my jawline just kept getting better. Come on. Beauty support collagen, bone broth intermittent fasting, all of those, boom, bada, boom, bada, boom, works, 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 works. Susan wants to know, Susan, I know you're all a, a fuddle. Is that a word? 
about this time blocking sheet. We'll talk about all of it. We'll talk about it. Okay, there was a uh, Carl, what is this guy's name again? Oh my gosh, I forgot his name. But he took uh, Drucker's, Peter Drucker's um, quote and took it a, a bit further. But I don't know how it was Peter Drucker because Peter Drucker is still alive. And this guy, Carl, can't think of his last name right now, was born in the 1800s. And he says, that which is measured improves. That which is measured and reported improves exponentially. Hmm. That's a head scratcher too, don't you think? I want you to remember this quote because I think this is really important. It brings in a psychological um, aspect of this that perhaps we haven't taken a look at. Okay. All right. So, um, and I think this is true across the board for pretty much anything anything. You know, we do that. We, I was just talking to Jenny just before we came on about, you know, we, we do reports on everything, everything. We track our stats. We track our email opens. We track our click-throughs. We track it with our sales. We track, we track, we track. You know why we do that? Because we want to know where's our energy going? Should we spend it this way or should we spend it that way? And if we just willy-nilly just threw it all out there, you know, what are we, what are we going to be able to, to measure? We won't be able to measure a thing. We measure everything, 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 everything. And it makes such a difference. So um, I'm going to say that whether you're at work and believe me, your boss is tracking and measuring your performance at all times. It happens. We have to. This is this is how we get the work done. I can't move the ball down my the field all by myself. I have a team, and our team works. And sometimes it's Jenny who makes that goal. Sometimes it's Amber. Sometimes it's Lindsay, and sometimes I'm just the coach on the sidelines, you know. And sometimes I hit the goal. But you know what it is? It's a team, and we are just cheering for the team. We're cheering for the team. Uh, Deborah wants the quote again. You'll like this. That which is measured improves. That which is measured and reported improves exponentially. Now, look at the Hot Melt 30. Look at the people who got the results like you, Deborah, in the Hot Melt 30. They showed up every day. They reported every day. They got the results. Why? Top of mind. Why? You know, it's because there is something that happens. There's a little magic secret sauce that's in that measuring and that is in but think about it this way remember what we talked about last week last week we were talking about uh building a house and what all, what is all entailed and doing appraisals and inspections and surveys and all the things that go into it well if you think about it every single one of those things from groundbreaking to building the house to buying the house to whatever Every single one of those things is measured. Every single one of those things. There is not a thing that isn't measured. How long is your contract? That is measured. How long is it? How long does it take you to, um, to build the house? That's measured. How many inches is that wall going to be? That's measured. How much, how thick is the wall going to be? Also measured. Every thing that is important for the building and the constructing of the house is measured. Can you imagine the chaos that would ensue if it wasn't? Can you imagine and you say, I'm just going to eyeball it. Let's just eyeball that wall. Now, truth, true story here. When we are hanging pictures, I just go in, I've got nails and a hammer. I, I know whereabouts it is. I kind of put the picture up. I eyeball it and put it up. Even if I'm doing kind of a gallery style thing, I, I, I can do that. Well, so can Mark. And I can show him what I'll do is I'll say, this is, I'll lay it out on the floor and say, this is how I want it to go. And this, you know, this far apart from each other, just kind of, you know, like this, he'll go get his measuring tape and a pencil and he'll mark it all off. And then he'll hang it and he'll hang it once. Guess how many times it takes me? More than once because I eyeball it. <laughs> you know, I eyeball it. So that just shows you that uh, that that's can be a little bit off at times. And guess what? The research shows us that our exercise, our productivity, all of it goes up a full 27 percent. If we're wearing a pedometer, 
or if we have to measure against something for our productivity, if those results need to be reported. Jenny has a spreadsheet and she puts everything on that spreadsheet, our whole stats for the whole week, so we know where we are, so we know if we're hitting the, our goals and if we're doing the things that we need to do. Now, I'm not going to tell you everything that we do, but just know that we are always paying attention, looking, reporting, seeing what the numbers are because they make a difference. They make a difference. How do you think businesses stay in business? You know, they don't just hope for the best, you know. We couldn't just willy-nilly send out a whole bunch of emails and pray that it's going to work. You know, we have we do have a little rhyme and reason for this for the way that we do everything and, you know, that's how we keep the lights on here. That's how we keep the wheels on the bus. How many other metaphors can I come up with? But measuring as a way of life, you know what? It's just not it's not doable. But I will say for a season, for a time, for a short period of time in order to get ourselves onto the starting line or to reset because something's a mess, it's absolutely 100% critical. And we got to go all the way on that. So that's what we need to do. We need to see, are we way off or are we just, does something just need a little tightening up here? That's the question. Those are the things that we need to be looking at. And the other thing is we need to make a determination. Are we wasting our time with this or is this something that we need to be spending time? Does this deserve to have our full attention? Does this deserve um, our efforts? So there's a biohacker named Nils Salzberg who said that there are two ways to measure effectiveness and productivity. And the number one way, track your time. And again, I told you about that. Um, use our time blocking sheet. Now, the time blocking sheet, you can see it. It has all kinds of things. Um, I know that that Susan is desperately wanting to know what you put in the columns. I don't have one in front of me to give you any ideas on that, but I will certainly um, on if you're a part of Inner Circle, we'll go over that on um, Saturday. OK, deal, because I, I don't have time for that today. But I'm going to tell you this, that what this whole idea of the time blocking um, sheet is, it's really simple. It's just to figure out where your time is going, because I have so many times have heard people say, I just don't have time. Well, you can't say that if you don't know where it's going. You can't say that if you spend hours on YouTube or hours on games or hours on Netflix and you just haven't really pulled together what exactly is going on. You know? I think so often we spend our lives, like Bruce Lipton says, 95% of the time in our unconscious mind, that we're not intentionally spending our time on things that are worthy of our game. We're in a game. And we are a team that needs to be pushing and helping each other get that ball down the field. So number one is to track your time. Use the time block machine sheet just to see where your time is going. And number two is to assign a value of everything that you do. So if you sit there and just take a, you know, a brain dump onto and write everything out that you do or what you want to do, and you assign a value to it, you can see, am I holding up my values or am I just throwing my values away? Because what is true is what we're spending our time on is what we're putting value on. So if we say that meditation, for example, is a 10, and yet we're spending it on endless scrolling on Facebook, which is a one, where's the, where is the true value? That's, I mean, that's painful. But it's important to look at. We've got to look at these things because the truth will set us free. That is a measurement, and that's an important measurement that we need to do, uh, that we need to get on. Now, when it comes to weight loss, especially if you go up and down and you seem like you're doing the endless cha-cha, we're not really making any headway. You lose a few, you gain a few. You lose a few, you gain a few. And back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. So we have measuring devices for that too, right? We know that you can use a measuring tape or you can use a scale. Now, I will always advocate if you had to choose one over the other, it would be the measuring tape every single time, believe it or not, because the scale is fickle. The scale isn't necessarily going to give you the true sense of what the heck is going on. The best that you can do is measure, you know, fully naked first thing in the morning after you've gone potty. That's the best way. 
Um, but that's not necessarily going to give you an accurate measurement, especially if you had Chinese food the night before or something that made you bloated and swollen. Um, all these, these are the things that we need to be looking at, you know, however, the measuring tape is pretty good and it, it will help us to understand what, what is actually going on a little bit better because remember this, and I've said this to you before that when we're looking at, we're, it's not going to, a measuring tape will more tell you about what's going on. If you're losing a lot of inches around your waist, for example, that's fat loss. That is no kidding. That's fat loss. I have had someone, <clears throat> it was probably last year around this time who didn't lose a pound during the sprint and got really discouraged. She said, I just did it. I was really good with it. I, my hydration was on point. I was getting my sleep, all of this. And she said, I do notice though, that my jeans are a little shorter, a little looser. I said, okay, well, what was your measurement? She said, oh, I didn't measure. And I said, just measure your waist. Tell me what your waist is. She lost five inches around her waist. And guess what? Pure fat loss. But because she was exercising, she gained muscle weight. Now, lest you think that that's terrible and evil, remember your muscles protecting your bones, <laughs> really important. And we want muscle strength. We want that. Muscle takes up less space than fat. So here's Here's fat, right? Here's muscle. This is five pounds of fat. This is five pounds of muscle. You see the difference? No, muscle does not weigh more than fat. These are equal. They weigh the same, but one takes up more room. That's why I will say to you over and over and over again, use your measuring tape. That is going to blow your mind when you start using your measuring tape. So that is just a huge thing. Um, the second thing that we have is food scales and measuring cups. I said it, food scales and me measuring cups. Now, I will tell you 3,000 times, we can't make a way of life out of measuring everything that we put into our mouth. We can't. But we need to have a really good idea of what we're doing. Because here's the thing that you have to understand. This is why I'm always telling you, you need to be, pay attention to what your hunger hormones are doing. You need to pay attention to how you feel. All of these things fit into getting to the place of being an intuitive eater, where we finally don't have to do this stuff anymore, where it's finally second nature and things just work well. Not that you won't need a reset every time, not that you don't need a little help every, every once in a while, but this is important because here's the thing. If you eat too much, even anti-inflammatory food, if you eat too much food, it is inflammatory. Now, if you're eating a big, you know, 10 ounce steak, that's too much protein and that will be inflammatory. You need to bring it on down, sister. We need about six ounces is all we need for the whole day, you know? So protein is, and, and that's about average. If you're a bigger woman, you'll need more. If you're a smaller woman, you'll need a little bit less but just right around in there. That's that's how that whole thing works. Hydration, same thing. Measure, do you see how we measure hydration? It's all measured out. Everything is measured out, but we have to have a good idea of what's what. Did you know that your fist is about a cup? Your fist is about a cup. So for the eyeballing portion of it, you can, yes, you can do this. You know, our uh, mindful mug, that's about seven ounces, I believe, um, if you measured that. So look, that's about a cup right there. Look, just about what goes inside. That's about a cup. And then there's a handful. So if you hold your hand like this, and in that hand, you've got some nuts, and you have that so as part of your meal, not a snack. There's your, there's your answer for how many nuts. That's a handful. Um, your palm is about three ounces of meat. So we're talking about this entire part right here. That's about three ounces. And if you're having three ounces at lunch and three ounces at dinner, there you go. You've had plenty. Um, a tennis ball is, you know, a, almost a fist, but a little bit smaller. That's about a half a cup. That's how much vegetables should be at least on your plate. And if you're going to really do it, you're going to have them in your soup and you're going to be getting a whole lot more vegetables because vegetables fill your belly and your stomach uh, stretch receptors measure that hello measure 
and they tell your brain, hey, you, they've, you've had enough because you, you, we need that little stretch. We need to feel that. We don't feel that, then we don't, that, that little switch doesn't click off. Isn't it interesting how our, our bodies work? Hi, Corliss. I'm glad you're here. So listen, and, oh, and a thumb would be, um, that, that would be about an ounce. Okay. So if you're going to eat cheese, an ounce is plenty and not on sprint week, of course. And make sure that if you are eating cheese, that you're doing it at least 120 days and no, no more than that. And I, find, I will tell you that too, grating cheese makes it go a lot farther. Just a little FYI. Um, <laughs> So we mostly, and I do especially, I loathe this and I loathe portion control. I loathe calorie counting and all of that because it brings me back to that whole day of counting this and counting that and points and all of that. The, half, the reference for a half cup is a tennis ball, Jema. So it's not calories in and calories out. It's, it's what is working for your body and what becomes excess? Excess becomes inflammatory. Okay? Excess becomes inflammatory. So we also have to be looking because, again, you know, we're not, it's not just a matter of math. It's a matter of metabolism, which is complicated. You know, there's like 10 things that it's affected. Your sleep, your hydration, your age, your gender, that all affects it. Exercise, muscle to fat ratio, because if you, the more muscle you have, the better your metabolism works. There's another uh, fight for, you know, our get strong webinar, please come tonight. Um, <clears throat> genetics, a little bit of genetics, a little bit of genetics play into it, but not a whole lot. Don't blame it on your <laughs> genetics. And, um, hormones, you know, hormones are big time. They, they do affect a lot of different things and can switch and turn everything off. You know, ask any woman who's ever had a thyroid issue. So, we need to be aware of what's what, and we get that way of understanding by measuring just for a week. And I'm asking you and challenging you, are you ready to do this for a week with me? Okay, a week, anyone? If you are, just start pinking up, you know, just trip right up there. I wanna see your pinkies. Who's gonna do it? Get your time blocker sheet at savingdinner.com forward slash time. If you go to savingdinner.com forward sprint, you can get the sprint guide. You can get the, you can get um, the food diary and keep track of it because what is measured improves what is measured and reported improves exponentially. And that's where we want to go. So I want you to think about this too. Everything in our lives that we measure, we put a value on. Think about it. Everything, every, every, everything. You want to buy a house? There's a measurement to that. You buy a house by the square footage. You buy a house by what it's valued. You know, just because you want to buy a house doesn't mean you go shopping for a million dollar house. You have a budget. It's, that's a measurement, right? That is a measurement. How about going on a trip? If you decide you want to go somewhere, you figure out how much it's, what your budget is for that where you're going to travel to, are you going to fly, are you going to do, everything is measured for a trip. Or how about a dress? You don't just walk into a store and say, just, I like that dress, just hand it to me. Well, what size are you? I don't know, but I want that one. Let's just try it on. It's measured. There is a measurement to the dress. Or how about a package? Every package you get in the mail from me has been measured and weighed and valued. <laughs> Have you noticed that? We pay postage on every single thing that goes out of here. And how about a baby? I'm talking to you, Amber. <laughs> you know, how about a baby? That baby comes out, that baby's measured and weighed. First thing, because those things matter. So there is a movie, if you remember, called Any Given Sunday. It was about 1999, and Al Pacino plays Coach Diamato. <laughs> Coach Diamato. And he gives a riveting speech. I guess his team is falling apart and they're just, you know, all kinds of stuff. And this is the big game. And he's telling them basically to get it together. Now, if you go watch it, like I did on YouTube, there's a few F-bombs. You know, he drops it. You, you expect that in a locker room, right? Just let it go. But listen to the speech. 
because basically what he's saying, it's, it's measured by the inch. It's done by the inch that you go a little too far, a, a split second, and you're not going to catch it. You go a little too short, you're not going to catch it. He said this, in either game, life or football, the margin for error is so small. I mean, one half step too late or too early, and you don't quite make it. One half second too slow or too fast, and you don't quite catch it. So th then he goes on to say that life is a game of inches. So that's what I'm looking at. Maybe you're a little off just by an inch. Maybe things aren't just quite measuring up. Maybe you're stuck. Maybe it just doesn't feel right and you're just going, oh, I'm so frustrated with all of this stuff. But what, as Al Pacino says, the inches we need are all around us. Now what are you going to do? You remember the quote from the beginning, <laughs> what, what is reported is going to be measured, what's measured in, and reported improves exponentially. What if, and I'm challenging you to do this, what if you decided to report every day into the Hot Milk Sprint group, or you report it every day in the Inner Circle group, you know, on Slack, if you're in Inner Circle? What if you did that? How would that change everything? Well, I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to change the whole measurement. It's going to change everything that you're going to do. So I'm asking you, are you going to do this? Are you going to, are you going to get into the weeds and just start looking at it and saying, where is the mess? What inch am I off by? What ounce? What consistency am I missing? So here's some thoughts on what you can do. I've got seven quick things, right? Number one is to start now. Measure anything and everything in your life. I'm talking about getting a measuring tape, measuring your bod. <laughs> Get on the scale. Do all the measurements. I'm talking about the food that you're going to eat tonight. Not now, not lunchtime, but your food. Measure it. Do you know that that's going to be uh, three ounces for dinner tonight? Do you know that? Measure it. Put it on the scale. Take a look at it. Measure it. Number two, write it down. Don't just play with this. Write it down. I just gave you two free resources on how to get a food diary and how to get the time block. If it's written down, it's going to open your eyes. I promise. I promise without a shadow of a doubt, you're going to see something you didn't see before, especially if you're in a frustrated place of just can't get anything done. Number three is report it. Report it. Come into the Hot Melt Sprint group, report it. Come into your inner circle group, report it. Are you going to go the full mile? Are you going to are you going to claw your inches way down to the touchdown? Are you? This is what makes it happen. Number 4 is figure out where the miss is by using your food journal. Use it and write it down. Even write down how you feel about it. If you, if you're having indigestion problems or whatever, it's time to figure this stuff out. And number five is same with the time block sheet. Figure out where your time is going. Figure out how your food is. Figure it all out. Because until we sit, have the time, take the time to sit down and figure out what the heck is going on, we will never solve it. Number six, I want you to remember this. Go watch Al Pacino's speech. Watch the F-bombs on, on YouTube. And he was talking about clawing his way down the field inch by inch. And he said, and look at your teammate. And look at your teammate. What would you do for that teammate to help him get that inch? And I thought about all of us. And I thought about how everyone is there cheering each other on. And somebody feels discouraged. There's a lot of people. They don't feel bad coming there. They don't feel bad about saying, hey, I'm having a hard time. They just show up and say, where do I start? What's going on here? I'm really having a hard time with this. And people jump in. That's what encouragement is. And you know what? You can measure encouragement. Because it feels good. It comes back. It feels good to give it. It feels good to receive it. And this is something that we need to do for each other. We can't just sit in our own stuff and just say, I just can't. How, how has that ever helped? And number seven, I'm asking for a week. From now all the way through the weekend and then on Monday, 
I want to hear from you. I want to hear how measuring changed your mind about something, how measuring moved the needle, maybe on the scale or on the, you know, on your tape measure or whatever it is, wherever you're having a place that it's not quite fitting, not quite working, not quite feeling good. And remember, that's what this is about. You want to feel good. You want to feel good in your own skin. You want to feel good about your life. You want vibrancy. And if that's the case, then we got to do this analysis. We not need to go in there. And um, we need to understand that we're students and students learn. Students are always learning and willing to take a look at what isn't working with their hypothesis. Because sometimes it doesn't work. And when it doesn't, and you get in there and you make that change because you took the time to measure, everything starts to change. How about that? We're going to be talking about this all this week. I've got a really good one for you tomorrow. I sure hope to see you there. And I hope to see you tonight for savingdinner.com forward slash strong. It's our Get Strong Challenge. We're going to be starting that next week. And I'm going to tell you what, you want to see the needle move? It will with the Get Strong Challenge. I think he's out. Back to you, Lily. <laughs> Peace be with you. I appreciate you. See you tonight, 7 p.m. Savingdinner.com forward slash strong. Bye. Thanks for watching. You can find us on YouTube on the Saving Dinner channel or on the Saving Dinner Facebook page. Check back daily for new episodes, Monday to Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern. If you missed the live show, you can watch the replay. Until next time, pinkies up.